Oh, you caught me checking out a dog kennel for size. Well, not for me. Oh, no. I'm thinking of one day getting a pet puppy. Now, somebody told me you can get puppies from the SPCA. But why is that? Why do some animals go to the SPCA, hmm? Because they're lost and they don't have an owner. Uh, because they're sick. They need more health. I think because um, their owners don't care for them. Because kind of like they've had a bad life. To find where their mother is. It can get better and it won't hurt anymore. Hmm, I wonder. Well, what does SPCA mean? Maybe it's Silly Pussycats Anonymous. Meow. No, it can't be just cats. It's got to be all animals. So maybe it's Society for the Possession of Crazy Animals. Yeah, maybe owners get pets that are crazy. The pets sleep all day and party all night and the owners can't stand that, so they take them to the SPCA. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Maybe I'll have to investigate further. SPCA stands for Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Well, I tell you what, I'm looking after this gorgeous wee puppy here for a friend who's away for a few days. Who would want to be cruel to a beautiful puppy like Gaston? Hey, you beautiful. You just want to look after him, don't you? <coughs> hey, what exactly does cruel mean? Maybe it's one of those opposite words. What's the opposite of black? White. And what's the opposite of good? Bad? OK, well, those were really easy. How about what's the opposite of being kind? Well, that would be cruelty. You know, if I didn't give myself food and water, that would be really cruel to me, wouldn't it? Well, if I didn't give this little guy food and water, it would be really cruel to him. He's just a puppy. He needs water and food far more often than I do. You know, I really think I'm going to have to go to the SPCA to find out all about it. I'm lost. I've been walking for hours. I'm looking for the Auckland SPCA and I can't find it anywhere. I haven't got a clue. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Come on, then. Let's go. You know, I'm probably not the only creature who got lost today. In fact, here at the Auckland SPCA, lost or stray animals are being brought in every single day. And the wonderful people here look after all lost and abandoned animals. Guess how many animals are looked after here at the SPCA each year? Up to as many as 12,000. Whew. Now, that's quite a few. Each year, lots of these are rehomed with people who will care for them properly. And that means they get new homes with new owners. And you know what? There are over 50 RSPCAs in New Zealand. Well, if they're not dropped off here because they were found lost, abandoned or injured, they were brought here because someone kind has realised that they were being neglected or not being looked after properly. So that means they'll be feeling pretty upset and afraid, and they'll need lots of love from everybody here at the SPCA. Now, every day, each of these puppies gets this much amount of water and this much food. And see, it's not people food, it's dog food. Their bedding is warm and dry, and they've got lots of space to run around in and get lots of fresh air. And they love this food. Hey, guys. Hey, look, pup. Look what we got. Oh, some for you. This little cutie's name is Austin, and he came to the SPCA in Auckland all well, last year. He had some broken toes, so the vets had to put his whole leg into a cast. And while he was like that, one of the inspectors here fostered him. Well, that means Austin was being looked after in the inspector's own home. Unfortunately for Austin, he also had a bone infection in that leg, and it had to be amputated or cut off. But apart from only having three legs, Austin now has a great life. The inspector kept him, and he's such a cool little friend. Austin arrived here in a bad state. He needed medical attention. And because all animals need medical attention sometimes, 
just like humans do, the Auckland SPCA has three vets. Now, animals need injections sometimes, but they also need to be dissexed. That means so they can't have babies. One female cat can go on to become the mother, the grandmother, and the great-grandmother of as many as 131,072 kittens. Wow, that's a few more babies and grandchildren than humans have. I tell you what, if I had a kitten that was nearly six months old, I'd be taking it to the vet quick smart. But I wonder about dogs. How many puppies can a dog have? One female dog can produce up to as many puppy children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren as 781,250 puppies. <laughs> Dogs can have 16 to 18 puppies born at once. You know, I think I'd better go home and write a note for my next-door neighbour about booking a vet appointment. Finding homes for one or two puppies wouldn't be so bad, but finding homes for all of them, whew, that would be really hard. Well, I've learned the SPCA is the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And the SPCA are very kind people that look after animals that have been lost or abandoned or neglected in some way. Or maybe they're the unwanted babies of animals who weren't de-sexed when they should have been. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. The SPCA is a good place for pets, but when you've got one of your own, you need to look after it the way you want to be looked after. Make sure it's got a really nice place to live, that it's warm and dry, that its bedding is nice and warm and clean, that it's always got plenty of fresh water to drink and lots of food to eat. Here, boy. Hey, look, what's this? Yeah. Occasionally, you might need to give your pet a brush. They love it. It's good for them. But just do it with an animal brush, not a human brush. And the other thing too, is your dog will sometimes need exercise. Now dogs need to go on a leash, cats don't. But you put a dog on a leash and you take it for a walk uh, at least once a day. They love it and it's really good for them. The other thing you need to do with your pets is train them so they know what you want. Like, sit. Come on, sit. 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 See? Well, at least I know what I'm talking about. But the thing your pet needs the most is love. Hey, well, I better get going. I'll see you later. Kakite! No, no, not yet. Let me sit. See? Oh! <laughs> This much food. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> and they get lots of attention. They're being well looked after and loved by everybody at the SPCA. <laughs> Chinny chin chin because it's just been nibbled off. <laughs>